as far as LIC's investments are concerned, as on uh, 31-3-2018, LIC has an investment of 19 lakhs 50,000 crores as investments. Nearly 16 lakh crores are in government securities. They are in state government securities, central government securities. Another 3.5 lakh crores are in infrastructure investments of this country, that is roads and other infrastructure facilities of uh, the government taken up throughout the country. This is the investment uh, priorities of LIZ so far. But now the government is trying to invest its fund in loss making units. That is what we are opposing. The government has recently asked LIZ to invest in two institutions. You know, One is IDBA and the other is Ireland FS company. The Ireland FS is concerned uh, it is a PPP company, public private partnership company and uh, at the beginning of its uh, uh, business it was promoted by Central Bank of India, UTI and uh, some institutions. Uh, the problem is uh, last year when Ireland FS was in crisis it was having a debt to the tune of 91,000 crores. Uh, uh, the government has asked LIC to invest in the Ireland FS to bring it out of the crisis at that time. Our LIC management has also accepted to invest funds in the Ireland FS company. We have told the management that the investment of LIC, the any investment of LIC should be on its own uh, decision, on its uh, own prudence. It should not be under coercion. LIC is getting money from the people, common people of this country. If it invests like this, uh, question will arise. LIC is investing in losing uh, companies, losing financial sector companies, losing infrastructure companies. So, people will lose confidence. As far as investment of LIC in IDBA Bank is concerned, uh, IDBA Bank is having more than 800 branches throughout the country. Uh, we have also a facility of bank assurance. That means procuring uh, LIC premium, LIC policies through banks. LIC is already having tie-ups with uh, more than 12 nationalized banks for bank assurance business. We hope that these 800 branch uh, spread over the country, the IDBA bank branches can help procuring the LIC business. That we have to wait and see. Life Insurance Corporation of India is having 30 policies. Traditional policies are there. Traditional policies means LIC gets premium from the people every month or every quarter. It is for a longer period that is for 25 years, 20 years, 30 years. The, that means endowment policy, money back policy. These are all uh, traditional policies. Once these were the predominant policies of LIC. Some few years back, that is after 2000, LIC entered into ULIP policies also. ULIP policies means uh, the policies were related to market, unit linked insurance policies. That means the premium we get, it will invested in the share markets, that is ULIP policies. ULIP policies were there some few years back. There is a growth of ULIP policies under LIC. When 2008 crisis came, in the year 2008, there was a financial crisis throughout the world. Then share markets uh, fell down throughout the world. In India also, we felt the pinch of it. So, the ULIP market gets its downward from that year onwards. So, uh, we could not sell ULIP policies uh, afterwards. So, now uh, what we want is LIC should concentrate on traditional policies. Traditional policies only is the basic of Life Insurance Corporation of India, getting money from the people, invest, investment of those money and uh, getting the uh, premium from it. That is the basic principle of LIC. As far as our organization, the All India Insurance Employees Association is concerned, we, are, we have been protecting this institution uh, from the beginning itself, particularly during the last more than two decades when new liberal policies were introduced, we have been protecting this institution in the public sector. During the 90s, when the government wanted to privatize the insurance sector, we have given a call and we have given a signature campaign call. 
we went to the people and we have got uh, signatures from the people more than 55,000 uh, signatures we have got uh, from the people at that time during the Narasim Rao's period. Uh, we have given it to the government also showing our protest to people's protest against the privatization moves of LIC. Then, uh, then after another 10 years we have given another call more than 1 crore policy, 1 crore signatures we have got from the people opposing the privatization move of the government. Apart from all these things, holding demonstrations and programs, seminars, getting signatures from the people, getting the opinion of the uh, people's representative that is MLAs, MPs and local representatives, we have been concentrating on the policy business of the LIC. We have given a call to our employees, our members we should provide the best service to the policy holders and we have been holding campaigns that is uh, procuring business campaigns servicing of policies campaigns last year in our zone south zone that includes the states of uh, tamil nadu kerala and pondicherry we have uh, we have given a call to procure business on our side from employees union we have given a call we have procured business uh, thousands of policies we have got from the uh, divisions and uh, as far as uh, service of policy holders uh, policies are concerned every year we have been giving call policy servicing call and uh, divisions are holding uh, policy servicing camps uh, these are all the efforts we have been taking to protect the life insurance corporation of india in the public sector even after that the subsequent governments be it the congress government or be it the Modi government, they are trying to privatize the insurance sector, particularly the Life Insurance Corporation of India, which we will not allow, we will definitely fight it to the finish.